it's Anastasia here. I am a personal shopper and stylist. This is my style channel where I want to talk specifically about clothes and how to choose them in a way that they serve you, not us serving them so much. Um, the wardrobe does need a little bit of uh, love and care here and there, but in general it just has to serve your needs. And in this video topic, I'm going to talk about uh, cold weather dressing. When you're traveling somewhere cold, especially if you don't necessarily live in a cold climate, it might be really useful because I think it's really difficult to forget how to do it, how to dress. And me personally, I come from the very cold climate myself. Uh, in Ukraine, it's very continental, so uh, it's something that I used to do since I was a little girl. And I'm quite a cold person as well, so I want to make sure I'm comfortable. And so this vi would be a useful video just as a general guide for cold weather dressing, regardless of if you ski or not, just some of my tips. And further, we will talk about some uh, winter skiing essentials and some things that I picked for my travel. I want it to be easy, I want it to be quite minimal and I wanted to avoid those uh, items that are not gonna serve me for too long. So yeah, let's start. Uh, so if you want to be really, really minimal with what you have for traveling in winter, if you live somewhere in Dubai or Australia or whatever it is, I think the best bet for cold weather in my experience, I like some type of legging and my preferred one is the coated one that does not let uh, so much air in, so a leather legging uh, or another form of trouser that is comes from the material that blocks the wind in a way. So for this reason, uh, these materials are really great. I'm not that much into leather because just it uh, is you know, animal product. This is a full leather, but um, it is synthetic. It is made in a way that it blocks the heat. Yes, in a hot climate, it might make you a bit more like warm and sweaty, but for winter, I think it's so great. And uh, the classic combination of uh, the leather look or leather uh, trouser with uh, cashmere is really, really timeless. I am uh, have been like fashion shopper and stylist for years and I can tell you it never really got out of style and these items are really really timeless so when I do go to the cold climate I could keep it really really minimal when I could just have uh, maybe two pairs of different shape or different tone leather look leggings and um, a couple of cashmere jumpers. Mm, so one of the jumpers that I have is really actually old, uh, but you need to bear in mind that I don't live in a cold climate, so I doesn't get so much wear, but this uh, has been from Asus for so many years ago, uh, slightly oversized, so look for good quality. I would prefer something a bit more roomy <laughs> rather than fitted to allow for changing shape because you might get pregnant if you're planning a family. And uh, this has been great. I didn't expect when I shopped when then it will happen in future, but it happened and it was great. And now oversized clothes are more in trend anyway. Or you can go, of course, for the classy like V-neck uh, cashmere. Mm, jumpers like the ones by Polo Ralph Lauren, but I find sometimes they go out of style and do don't look proper. So very classy colors like black, uh, khaki, uh, beige, another one. This is more premium. This is uh, Christian Dior and this was meant to be a summer cashmere, but I wore it also during winter and it was great. So this would be for skiing holiday, that would be your opera ski. But in addition to that, uh, you would need a layer uh, that goes underneath because uh, uh, just like underwear and jumper is not always sufficient. So for me, I swear by the tank tops that you can simply get at H&M Basics shop and the ones with the classic um, cut, not racer back. But if you have racer back ones, they also come uh, really nice and they look cool. It's just this one is more versatile for all kinds of uh, necklines. And if you have well, jumpers that have uh, lower neck. Uh, these are a bit more suitable. So I would suggest two. I would be a good number for a trip. One black, one white, or one white and one another color or two of the same. Uh, some 
specialist shops they also do uh, cold weather items with like special synthetic material they also could be a nice investment um, and they were out in a season or two Uniqlo is one of those places where I used to go when I lived in in England I found that it was really cold for me so uh, I would go there and uh, shop for some of the items that are like basic thermal tops and I'll link some of them for you so this is the base of your wardrobe some good underwear and maybe like softer kind of uh, bras that are also quite comfy and cozy but have support Uniqlo is also quite good at that I browse their website and sometimes those items you don't really like where um, change them you can wear them even when you go to sleep when it's rather cold a base a layer of a cotton um, tank top and then on top you would have cashmere I think it's just like more long term and although it is a little bit more care demanding but I find it's more timeless than let's say a sweatshirt this season I also opted for uh, some sweatshirts but I know that they are fun and they are seasonal and I like to change them because they uh, tend to wear out in a few seasons or so but of course uh, if you have some design a kind of sweatshirt you can uh, make it last longer this is just by a Ukrainian brand that supports the army it's with very cool writing and I have another hoodie so some mid-tones if you like black so some mid-tones like navy and uh, khaki I find that they work really well and also creams creams and whites are always best for you know enhancing your you know face color and uh, highlighting your hair color I did not find a perfect uh, ivory or white uh, white cashmere jumper and because I don't live in a cold climate I currently don't have it but if I did I would definitely have one like that maybe medium and not so heavy uh, cashmere maybe more on a fine side just so it could be more versatile to wear from springtime to even cold summer days if you're in England to our uh, winter month uh, if we are talking about um, other accessories in terms of shoes I would go for a boots of course if you live in a cold climate if you're not uh, living in a cold climate though you don't really need uh, I don't feel like you need a winter boot unless you go to a very snowy envi environment where snow is really tall and when you walk it could get into the mm, into your shoes so this is what I use I have a pair of snow boots because when I travel back home to Ukraine it's really snowy and I like to walk in the snow this is by Isabel Moran and they do come a bit small I think the the style is a owl boot or maybe that's the, the right name really timeless they might be not top of the trend but I feel like there's such a good quality really good rubber sole so really good quality but would pre always protect you from the wind it will be non-slippery and will keep you warm so this is my must have I had it for years now and I actually bought it vintage from somebody who uh, decided that it was not in style anymore I guess and I have been loving it and it's 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 great but as you know that uh, yeah it doesn't get too much wear so probably would last me for a decade so you, if you're going somewhere where there will not be probably too much snow or you'll be primarily in a city or you're not gonna go skiing or you're not so much into walking for airport looks and for any other you know like transit zones and within a city I find that a sneaker works just great for cold climate so let me show you I have these two so something really with a really thick sole would lift you off the ground would allow it you to be dry uh, when snow is melting so um, it's perfectly fine to just wear you know some sneaker you don't have to have a higher taller uh, boot unless you want that style of course because if you don't live somewhere cold you want things to be versatile and you can wear them in summer and in winter which is great just look for the style that has less perforation and has to be leather it has to be rubber it has to be quite concealed to keep the temperature and if you go for the size that's not too tight for you you can also include a thicker sock when needed uh, me in fact for this trip I opted for uh, this 
sneaker this is perfectly wintery sneaker yeah it's quite premium i had it for two years now it's so great uh, mostly for cold climate so in england for, for all all year round in my climate mostly in winter time and for winter travel even for snow walking this was awesome this is neoprene and all the seams are really much closed uh, it doesn't breathe so much so sometimes it does really get even too warm but uh, definitely good for uh, any airport uh, like transit zone where you don't know what it's gonna be like and if you if you want to just like go with something that you already have but then you know shop on the location this might be a good option for you in terms of coats I just use what I have uh, I have my parka that is uh, a PSL brand uh, we used to do them a couple of years ago we might relaunch them I'll show you a photo or video footage it has a combination of materials like fur and cotton and it's quite fun and I think in terms of outerwear you just need to probably know your uh, body if you get cold like more in the shoulders make sure you have a lot of like warm layers here if you get more cold on the bottom get something that is long I'm always colder on my shoulders so I need to make sure I have my jumpers I have my layers on the top on the bottom I could pretty much uh, be with like, with like trousers or like layer with with a thermal legging uh, I don't have to have a long coat to keep me warm know yourself uh, know what works for you I think that that would lead you to the right direction because yeah it would be probably wise to have also like a longer coat uh, for like more colder more comfortable uh, situation in winter but uh, when I travel just now I really don't see a need because when I have uh, something that protects me from the cold like leather legging underneath I can put a thermal legging and um, then I'll have something on uh, on top that is below <laughs> the navel so kind of like covers your mid size but maybe even not completely that works really well for me and just make sure making sure your feet are warm and you have gloves uh, makes for a perfect combination and we'll talk about basics as I mentioned and you'll be wondering what kind of thermal leggings are you talking about Anastasia and uh, yeah this is something that I found really useful for some reason when I was a little girl we always would wear tights with uh, any winter clothes but they I think the structure and design of tights uh, does not give a longevity to the tights because you always get ripped toes or ribs on uh, on the you know on the leg so much better solution in my opinion and in my experience through many years is uh, thermal legging it's not such a big investment but it was really quite life-changing for me and I find it so much easier and more convenient and more you know versatile to have a thermal legging one of two and a different pair of socks that would you you would combine them with to give you um, what you're looking for on that specific occasion not talking about when you wear a dress of course you would need a specific pair of tights but just keep in mind that they're not uh, gonna serve you up uh, so well so what I usually go for is um, thermal leggings and thermal other clothes um, so it's just um, Uniqlo was one of the brands that has been bringing it up first and they are quite like tacky it's called kit heat tag extra warm so these come from a collaboration with Alexander Wang and uh, it's more of the ski uh, thermal although it could be for anything and uh, I bought it uh, when I think it was like three four years ago I was actually pregnant with my second baby and it also worked for me it was on top of the belly and I have this so basically I think probably this collaboration will not be available any longer but if you go to Uniqlo website maybe they'll have another collaboration they always do them and they are pretty great um, so yes this hasn't been worn for like weeks uh, continuously because I don't live in a cold climate but I've been I've been wearing them for many occasions when I did skiing for maybe two or three trips for sure and uh, something like this is really thin if you have your um, trousers that you prefer to wear in winter 
or in my case I always wear my leather trousers either like wide or fitted and when I test it I actually find that more fitted trousers keep you warmer but they need to be maybe having like one centimeter a gap to just allow for that thermal to go inside but even if it's quite tight i find that it still it still does work um, so the thermal layer is like an insulation that would allow some air uh, to remain between uh, the top layer of your garment that would be like leather legging or any kind of other trouser or ski trouser and your skin and that would allow you to stay warm they also are made in a way that it wicks uh, moisture and brings that out to the surface so you supposed to stay dry and uh, when you are dry in a cold you are more warm if you are sweating and moisture stays that's why it makes you cold that's why I always say avoid uh, cotton um, especially when you're sweating but if you know yourself if you don't sweat that's why I opt for cotton tank tops uh, to wear with my jumpers because I know myself that I don't sweat in that area and cotton works well for me so we are slowly moving towards a uh, ski um, ski list uh, for things that you would need to have so thermal uh, underwear that would uh, consist of a legging and the top this is a bodysuit and I might I have to say it's not the perfect solution I quite like the design it looks really cute but I probably would if I would shut now I would not go for the bodysuit I would just go for the normal long sleeve and I do like it with a little neck because I'm cold <laughs> in this area they also come with a rounded shape so this is your basic for any cold weather uh, if you're going if you even if you don't go skiing this might help you so much because you can wear it with any other clothes that you already have so it will mean you would not have to have too many things in your wardrobe when you go for skiing or when you go for a longer time and it's quite cold and you wear them for maybe three or four days you might want to uh, change them for a fresh one so if this one goes to the laundry so if you go for seven days of skiing I would suggest you to have two uh, sets of um, thermal underwear this is a must and this is a personal use item while now you can rent a lot of the ski items like suits and you know even gloves and helmets and um, you know goggles uh, for underwear uh, thermals you would have to have uh, them my other set of thermals let me find it it actually consists of this um, this is by Patagonia so this is quite specialist and they are considered to be mid a layer uh, rather than like base base layer they have base layers uh, separately and this is supposed to be a mid layer so it's I think it's a bit thicker and it's more like a fleece on the bottom and this has been so amazing for me it's uh, it's made in a way that it really does hold up the air because it has a specific you know um, shape to to the fabric and this has been great for me uh, it also fits really nicely underneath any of your bottoms this is a really I can really recommend it enough and I went for a size extra small and they're not super tight so in case of really really cold weather I think that uh, you would use it on top of your first thermal layer but when we were skiing it was actually not that cold it was more warm and I wear these uh, on, on their own as a base layer and they have been great uh, this has been my last minute purchase so that I used um, the, these leggings in a combination with the long sleeve that is just synthetic it's plain H&M so it's basically a gym top that is made of uh, synthetic for and for skin it's something that works great it just has to be synthetic it has to be a long sleeve uh, it is not a specialist and was quite good and I I opted for this because I still needed something like that 
for my gym sessions so uh, the, any, uh, the only thing that um, if you're just looking for this uh, to serve you as a winter layer this might be not as you know like nice to the touch if you just wear it with casually without doing sports but for doing sports for skiing it has been really great and it has a really long sleeve so when you get also cold like on your wrists it was you know keeping keeping me warm and I, I loved using this item I'll try to link the same one so that's that's about base layers I think we covered that but now we're gonna talk about fleeces so fleeces are synthetic material tops that come in a variety of uh, materials these days variety of cuts and all brands do them they are quite fashionable now um, to just like, wear casually and uh, you know, even like fashion fleece is a big thing so um, I ended up with these two in my wardrobe one is a bit thinner it's a Patagonia fleece that you could see in some of my reels and uh, this is a north face so um, the idea was to get it for skiing so for skiing I wanted something that uh, would serve me for much colder days so this has been great they actually serve so so long but I uh, did update my fleece my previous fleece was uh, like this it was North Face or Columbia, I can't remember which one, but it was mint green color and I was getting tired of it. So you usually get tired of it quicker than it wears out. They really serve for ages. I just, yeah, you just want new thing just because you like. We all like, like, like to get new things. So for skiing, I find that this uh, setup with the full zip is so, so much better because it's just easier to put things on you. And it has a lot of, you know, it, it's more fitted. It has uh, pockets and um, it has a setup to hold your gloves. So this has been great, but this is, this is a bit thicker. I considered taking both of them uh, to my uh, ski trip but then I decided just one is enough so for fleece yes even for seven days or longer one fleece is enough because your base layer wicks your sweat and gets dirty this doesn't really get dirty and in other like non-ski days you can always wear it when you go running outside when you for any other occasions basically so go for something that you like the color uh, that you like the shape of I think it is it's just great it's so versatile it's the warmest like, for very cold days fleeces are the warmest uh, items that are made on earth probably even better than cashmere and they are really easy to care for so um, if you really <laughs> are a cold person for the cold climate fleece is something that you would need uh, this uh, would be my like more like summary fleece for just when I go somewhere and I don't know what it's gonna be like uh, so I just like to be knowing that I have something warm to warm if it's gonna be uh, a bit colder and I really like the design I like the logo so it also kind of like a lift me up piece and I feel like so adventury like adventurous person when I have something from Patagonia in my wardrobe could and now we're gonna talk about some of the accessories that you would need for your ski uh, trips also and something that I opted for so hats gloves uh, uh, balaclavas uh, and socks for socks they come in a variety of materials these days there are wool and they are synthetics and they are uh, silk socks at the moment i'm using the silk sock because when i trained to be a stylist i was to, uh, we had this information that silk is the warmest material if it's needed correctly and i have to say it is uh, i have really cold feet and i struggle with this usually if you also uh, like this and if you go skiing i recommend you to not go for the ski boots they're too tight so go in a bit higher up in size to allow so some circulation some air to stay there if it's really tight it's gonna be cold and um, 
Um, my choice now is these socks, but they're a bit more expensive. So I think I paid quite a lot of money for them, maybe 30 euros, also maybe 20, but it's still, you feel like it's a lot for the socks. And um, you have to be careful to wash them. I think you have to wash them in a certain uh, degree, but it's already knitted, so it's not gonna just, you know, ruin a machine because, just because of its silk. An easier and very reliable option for me is uh, finding any like basic, maybe they have them on Amazon these days. Uh, I think I got them, uh, these at Primark. So I'm looking for uh, warm socks that are made from uh, synthetic polyester. They have to be knitted in a thick way. Uh, they always like uh, work amazingly well for me and I tested various uh, materials like wool doesn't work for me for some reason. Synthetic socks are the best if you have really cold feet so something very plain like this from Primark I think it maybe was two pounds maybe now it's a bit more expensive maybe it was in a men's section I don't remember exactly but just uh, something that is definitely synthetic no cotton and something is that is thicker works. I also got uh, similar ones for my kids and they always had warm feet. For hats and balaclavas, uh, this was the first year when I tried uh, this accessory and I find it quite fun because it, it works as a scarf and uh, I also have a white uh, set of my ski suit and it covers the suit in a way that you don't stain it with your makeup. It also is really nicely layered and I was I'm not sure how it works because supposedly when you breathe in a cold weather you have you know this moisture and it stays here but it does not absorb any moisture so this has been great you just look a little bit scary <laughs> in this uh, thing but uh, definitely can recommend if you if you're getting cold in, in this area and uh, also know that these days everybody has helmets so hats actually are not so much worn on the slopes uh, I had another one this is more like a freestyle kind of balaclava it's fun uh, the color is more fun but I found it much more difficult to wear it was not big enough to cover my head and my neck so just one of those was okay for the hats uh, I wanted to update everything this season so I got uh, two hats one more sporty more thin and one thicker and more like fun and actually I didn't wear this hat maybe just once so I wore it for a video because uh, yeah it's it's cool uh, for bringing it up a little bit with your outfit you definitely want to have a fun hat but on a ski slope you don't wear it as much and this uh, this one was worn by me more often because it's just easier to wear and I like the color as well um, for more like non ski cold weather hats that are long term I recommend a cashmere in a very classic color like also like maybe neutral beige ivory black or navy I had a beautiful navy beanie and unfortunately I lost it in one of the trips another thing that you would need for your ski holiday is a uh, swimwear so this is uh, I'm, I'm just gonna show you two sets that are my favorites at the moment this is a new Hansa J and uh, this is a little bit uh, old now uh, Miss Sony and I opted for this one because it's just so uh, takes so little space and it dries quickly and it's so small and I think it's just easier to wear for any you know spa experience because when you go skiing you would have uh, you would have some spa experiences um, or the pools are very everywhere in a ski resort so don't forget a swimsuit I think this would take too much room and it would not be easy to dry it every single day because you might go a lot if you stay in a hotel with the pool so I think something that is more simple that is not as new would be good for your for your spa days and uh, this is kind of an investment another ski accessory a goggle I went for this Montclair one that I saw on matches website and it's so cute I think it's really really timeless before I think as a kid I had a white one they change uh, the cha style changes maybe every like 10 uh, seven to ten years so if you planning to ski uh, more than once in the next 
five years I guess you should have your own goggles if you don't have ones you can uh, now easily rent them from uh, some uh, rental place where you rent your boots uh, yeah if you care about your style probably uh, you would want to have them in your choice of colors but as I said also keep in mind that uh, when you're skiing you just want to enjoy you want to be to have fun and uh, you want things to serve you not uh, you to take care of the things that's that's the way I see it uh, so talking about uh, suits um, and uh, like handbags so for the ski suit I uh, bought my first uh, ski suit this season. Uh, previously I had a jump suit and it was not from the professional brand, it was from the younger brand and uh, they could be looking fun uh, but I found that it was not made in a proper way that stitches were not like closed properly and I had some air coming and going I was not really comfortable in those items so I would suggest uh, I think that specialist brands uh, have uh, experience in making these things really long term in terms of style and they know how to make them properly so if you are keen on skiing probably investing in a ski suit would be a good option for you if you're not sure yet as I said rental economy is so great now you can rent uh, it from any uh, ski rental place and I the suits that I've seen people rented they looked really really chic too so talking about ski suits you don't really have to have one if you have a puffer coat you can ski in any of the puffer coats that you have preferably it has to be short and fitted and you know not super short unless you opt for those like silo pads and in terms of ski bottoms it is really uh, important that your trousers would be water resistant so in my experience I wanted to test if you know like leather leggings would work for skiing I tested and yes they do really work and I was really uh, feeling great and had them so one of my mango leather leggings I actually wore them on a the slope one day and uh, they worked fine uh, the only issue is that they don't have enough pockets that are specially made to hold some of your stuff but in terms of style and in terms of uh, function they work just perfectly well if you have some you know kind of water resistant trousers you can maybe put them on top of your sweatpants and ski in that way if you want to be really minimalist but uh, probably uh, if you uh, want to ski and feel good and comfortable you want to have some specialist made uh, ski trousers they don't come as expensive these days i did not test uh, the ones that you can find at very many cheaper websites but i know that there is a brand that is called uh, mountain warehouse and do, they do things on a bigger scale something that's really uh, professional but at a uh, uh, medium uh, cost I shopped there for my kids uh, for some hoodies uh, for some fleeces uh, I did not try their um, clothes for rental but definitely I uh, check it out uh, for uh, me personally I opted to go for uh, non-fashion a ski suit from a sporty brand so I'm just gonna show you this is a North Face you've seen it in my reels and I did some filming in it um, so the idea was to have something as a base and then accessorize it in a way I'll have to tell you that uh, yeah white color and cream color is not always the best because uh, it required me some uh, maintenance even on the slope sometimes you might sit and it might be not as clean and uh, I also have some ribs on my feet because I was not really careful when I was putting and taking off my skis so that's the problem they um, they also wear out but they have been great they might seem quite thin so the main idea and concept of ski wear is uh, keeping you quite warm and protect you from the wind but at the same time when you move you don't really get super cold 
cold. The only place where you get really quite cold uh, on a ski holiday is if you stand without any motion, if you sit, if you're tired, uh, or when you go up the elevator or on the ski lift, it, you get really quite cold and to protect you from uh, from the cold climate uh, that is the main I think feature of the ski suits uh, you'll probably see people who ski really actively they tend to have less layers so uh, yes that's true when you move around if you're really uh, going up the mountain like cross-country skiing that I really want to try uh, you uh, are really really quite warm or if you're teaching your kids to ski so I like the professional suits because they have the uh, opening that would allow some more air to circulate and make you less sweaty and make your clothes stay more clean so uh, but if you yeah they have specialist pockets here to hold um, to hold the card that you would need to go up the ski lift and it has a special pocket here to um, wipe your glasses if you need so yeah i've been really happy uh with that what i wanted to say that yeah also when you just ski down the mountain unfortunately it doesn't make you i think super warm because you're kind of going down without like much effort so if you're quite a cold person yeah make sure you you have all those layers and uh, also the another problem is if you're not that confident in skiing and you might fall and if your clothes are not protecting you from the moisture from the from the snow uh, you will you will get quite cold when it gets inside and uh, you know your body will heat up the snow and you'll be wet and that's that's when you are cold uh, so the definitely benefits of specialist ski suit that it has a lot a lot of pockets and you can put all your things that you need and your phone and uh, now these days we use only you know apple pay for all the payments you don't really need a bullet i sometimes take my backpack so for in terms of accessories that go with uh, with my usual like ski holiday or other trips I opt uh, for a backpack usually because it's just so much easier to wear it I for this trip I was just carrying some spare gloves for my kids and uh, and some days some water in in my backpack and I don't remember what else maybe my sunglasses and my goggles when I was not wearing them but definitely a backpack is something that is really useful on a ski slope or another or any holiday when you go especially if you go with your kids so make your hands hand free and I didn't bring any toad actually to this uh, trip and it was it was awesome uh, for the evening if you are going on a ski holiday or any other winter holiday where you would be wearing heavier coats for bags uh, I would recommend to go for something that has a longer strap so I have opted for this Bottega bag a triangular bag because it serves as an evening clutch if you need it um, it goes with everything because it's uh, black really versatile doesn't take too much room at all so perfect for my traveling needs and if I was wearing it outside it with some um, it's not like super long that I think the Chanel would be the longest chain but you still it can still go over uh, your you know heavier bulkier coat is just gonna be sitting a bit higher so this works clutches or bags with small handle or if they don't have a long strap they don't really work for uh, winter and you can just keep them at home and opt for something that is easier to carry with you but also winter coats they tend to have more pockets so you might not really need much to to carry around with you another few important things uh, that go into skiing the gloves I had these uh, gloves that I got from Ski Dubai. They were working quite fine and uh, I also used them for just like going around and walking for non-ski occasions instead of having two pairs and it was perfectly fine. Of course, if you're going for longer days or if you want to be super elegant, go for leather gloves, but I always tend to lose one of them and it's really annoying. Uh, so these are great because they clip together, but uh, in 
the more premium you go in a glove if you want to ski on a more like long term level i think the longer gloves they come also with these hooks that are just a bit easier to put them on the on your suit when you're not skiing because oftentimes you would go up the mountain and you would get a drink or hot chocolate and you want to take off your gloves and then you don't have anywhere to put them so that'd be great if they would have hooks that would just allow you to hang it but anyway it's not it's not a biggest issue they still work and i didn't opt for the ones that have the specific uh, special thing for like touching the screen because you want to be skiing you don't want to be browsing your phone i think it's fine unless you are very like professional and you spend all day on a mountain you probably would need you know touch screen on your glove also when you go on skiing holiday i would recommend you to go for uh to get your bras uh, sports bras that perfectly go well under your uh, base layer to just you know give you uh, protection in this area on some really warm days uh, you can just wear a legging a sports bra and then fleece on top this works really well too you don't have to wear a base layer every single time if you feel like it's a really warm day i think it's what you can do uh, so one or two it doesn't have to be sporty bra but something that is a soft i think it's best i would avoid something really fancy or really uncomfortable on the slope because you're kind of just doing sports and having fun uh, and enjoying yourself so yeah i hope uh, this uh, was a useful video for you and uh, if you do uh, find it useful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, i hope you also like ski holidays just like i do and let me know uh, your favorite ski destinations and hotels that you tried and tested that are being great i think it, every, if everybody will comment uh on some nice you know location they stayed in previously or they're going to stay i think it would be quite useful for other users as well this winter we went to the kopani in poland when we stayed in a hotel called balceda kasprove it's on a mountain it has a uh, nice nice views and it has had a really amazing spa zone i think that is a deal breaker for me and if it's really close to the slope previously i did skiing in maribel in some other resorts in france uh chamonix i think mont blanc and uh, amigev and, and a few places in switzerland as well uh, but more like towards march so i can't recommend those uh, places for all year round skiing yeah definitely let's hope that climate change is not going to be so severe that we will be able to uh, ski and our kids will be able to ski as well and uh, yes thank you for watching again and i'm gonna see you in my next one bye